Hello, Darkness here. So people don't forget who I am because it takes so long for videos. I'm now in touch with DeMeo Detective Frank Pergola. I've been in touch with Chris DeMeo's widow. Been in touch with Albert's widow. And, of course, Camarie Montiglio. And uh, the guy who did Lynchpin of Bensonhurst. And, uh, as well as a couple other people. And there's one person who was one of Roy DeMeo's best friends, who's like 800,000 years old now, and I was offering him money and his brothers to talk, but they're kind of wary, which makes me a little bit, I don't want to say suspicious, uh, it's just, I guess they don't want to be associated with his name uh, reasonably, or they feel as if he might have been innocent or it was exaggerated, but whatever. Uh, but I do have the guy, but Frank was the guy who found many of the 200 crimes and put them together. Unfortunately, some of the files are gone because of the mafia cops. They went vanishing one day, and that's who more than likely was responsible since uh, the, uh, I forgot his name offhand, Capacara. I don't want to butcher his name too much there, but he... Uh, disposed of, but he would have had access to those files. Uh, here's a few things that I didn't know that are not publicly in Murder Machine. So now I'm currently not quite sure what to think of Henry in total, because apparently he might have killed before Roy did. He was suspected of several contract hits before he came along with Roy. That's one I did not know. I am working on a possible book as well, and I have written Henry and both twins and Coonan. I won't know until I'm back in New York whether they've written me back. I already wrote Henry twice without knowing whether I got an answer the first time because there was some period between. I won't feel as if I've written them and really reached out and really been ignored until I'm at letter 20, I think. I am quite persistent. I want at least to fuck you. All right. Later.